first of all, you know, we all have our likes and our dislikes, so I was talking about an objective approach, but you know, everybody comes into a painting with you know, their, own, their own predilections. Um, so maybe you liked a certain kind of painting and maybe you dislike another kind of painting. And so you know, I have mine, you all have yours. So in the classes that, that we taught, we would just ask people to put that sort of on the back burner and let's look at it as a look at it as a group and see what we we can all see. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through that. Uh, so first of all, I really like this painting, <laughs> um, and, uh, and here's some of the reasons why. Um, so it, it kind of reminds me of a, a Chardin or a Mo, uh, Morandi still life, uh, or even Cezanne a little bit, um, with the the pitcher and the cups and the coffee. On the table, but the, the stark lighting really kind of makes it much, much more dramatic. So you have this really stark shadow that puts the sets the back background into a darkened area, um, and then the cup lid lip follows that angle as you go down and takes you down to the red highlight. So there's a reason why red lights are red because red naturally attracts our eyes. And so it serves that same function here. It attracts our eyes. Um, the, the title of the Folgers Coffee is, you know, I don't know if you want to say that that's kind of a pop art reference or maybe even a, a uh, um, cubism idea, you know, putting language, words, letters in paintings, but it certainly has that sort of effect and feeling. Uh, but it also has a decorative quality too. Um, then the red, gets picked up in in the table surface in the uh, cloth and then even in the highlights here and then even in the cups and then it's repeated so it kind of ties the two sides together in the creamer and so there's a, a painting uh, by Cezanne uh, uh, fruit fruit or uh, pear and still life with pear and the pear is hanging off the table and so if it were reality which, which it isn't, it would fall off because there's fabric that goes this way with no support under it. And this kind of has that same quality. So this, this picture is, is off really kind of over the edge and there's this nebulousness about where is the edge of this table? It almost is, is like a waterfall quality. You know, it, it's sort of uh, falling down. And often when you have a, uh, so, so with this little triangle of space right here, if that um, if that creamer has a quality of wanting to fall off the edge, this shadow is serving the purpose of holding it back in visually. So um, one, one of the things we, we also do in our classes is, um, do you remember when the artist Prince went through his period when he wanted to know be known as the artist formerly known as Prince? So to help students understand that they that they're not looking at a person or an arm or a jar, we, we would refer to it as the unit formerly known as an arm. 